Today's soybeans rise, they still stay in that consolidative state that export ex inspections hit the mark again, and that really gave the market a little bit of a boost. It gives futures a lift and it actually offsets some of the losses that soybeans have had over the past couple of sessions. But it still stays in that channel, and that channel is between like 875 and 891 for the January contract. Uh, we're still like just maneuvering around at this point, waiting to get something to get some direction. The U.S.-China trade war, you know, who knows if, uh, when that's going to come up. Uh, we're still watching, you know, out of the side of, of our eyes on exactly, you know, what's going to be coming up. And all the other issues are at hand, too. What are the final yield numbers going to be? But as of today, there just wasn't much happening in kind of a relatively quiet day for all of the commodities. Corn was steady. The technical numbers were offering a little bit of support, so technical traders stepping in and buying that 50-day moving average, and it's uh, kind of holding. That's the, become the big support level right now. Um, and futures have been kind of circling around in this same area since really mid-September. So uh, we are uh, still looking for some kind of direction, and that's not going to come until uh, you know the two main things that w we have, because we still have some decent demand. Uh, U.S.-China uh, trade talks, are we going to get something rolling on that? And what are the total numbers for the yield coming in? Uh, we've been watching so many different things happening in the stock market, uh, in uh, what's happening in California, that we kind of have lost track of exactly where we are in the commodities. And so it seems that that has stabilized the markets a little bit and kind of moving sideways, not sure which way to turn. Wheat fell today. The planting progress for that winter wheat is about 90% complete, uh, right kind of on target from last year and so now that we caught up uh, that put a little bit of pressure on the market the trend has been lower really all along but uh, with the market being so thin it, it creates big bounces and that's why we had that run up to 520 on the December contract the hard uh, red wheat uh, stocks are the largest on the calendar and that's still you know creating a very volatile market right now but that means that there's tr plenty of trade opportunities uh, on the wheat contract especially but so but today uh, being quiet as it was the wheat was off a little bit it tried to rally back right there at the close uh, but it still closed uh, down a little bit but one thing to remember that it's above that five dollar benchmark so uh, we're you know still that still is the big support level for that wheat contract